Hi, good afternoon, Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and life coach, coming in to do the channel message for the month of March. This is for Sagittarius, and I didn't have anything for February. Sorry, I've been not well, but I am back. Um, just realizing that my face is kind of broke out today. Uh, so I'm, I'm channeling through a message for Sagittarius and for the energy of those born with it with Sagittarius as they're rising or uh, anywhere within your sign actually or if you have if you're cross watching there may be a message in here for you I have a sense of a um, I have a sense of a block around you Sagittarius hmm so please remember, this is not to replace any medical psychological advice that you've been given. This is to be taken as a form of entertainment. Um, so I have three major arcanas coming up, is what I have. And um, it's stopping me because I'm like, I had this whole thing that I thought was coming through. And then the message changed the moment I start channeling through. Um, Take off your mask, uh, wash your face of, I'm like, why am I touching my face? Wash your face of, of the, like, the splatters. Like you've been like, kind of someone's been like angrily, like spitting at you or angrily at kind of attacking you and you've been holding on to this. Um, and I just feel like you're finally seeing the justice. I have the justice card. Something is really out of balance and you're being told to not give up to not give up. So something that you've been fighting for or something that you've been arguing for or like the end of like a divorce or uh, like custody type of thing. I just feel like there's a agreeable, agreeable truth being made and something is coming to an end. I feel as if from this time you're rising up. So I have like the sunflowers, I have the sun, the actual so sun that's coming up and this is your real higher, higher consciousness and that you just like you're you feel like you've been cut off. You feel like you were cut off at the root, like the flat, like, so if you're the sunflower, you were cut off and you're, um, and all you, you thought everything was like, you thought you were just like, you were so exhausted, so done. So like just tired of fighting for everything. But you realize the essence that all I had to do was put myself in a new situation. All I had to do was see things differently. All I had to do was look at things differently and life just starts, you start to see the light again. You start to see yourself rising up. You start to see yourself start to come back up. You're finding that energy. You're coming back through. And I feel like this comes with April, May. You're really starting to really come to life. I do have the other major arcana card that comes up and it's the Empress. And it's like, get moving, get moving, get moving. And this is about you know, get moving towards the life that you want. I see, a, I see that sense of abundance, whatever abundance means to you. And I mean, that I'm, I'm getting love. I'm getting love is what I'm getting and love in all forms. And that means self-love. And uh, see, this situation doesn't serve you. There's something that's been happening over here that is that has left you angry, that's left you bitter, that's left you holding on to old resentments, old shit. Let it go. It's the past. It doesn't matter. Um, it's not, it's not present anymore is what, no, no fucking right. It's still present. Whoops, sorry, swore. It is still present. Uh, there's still something in here that's still present. Somebody is still trying to like get your goat, still, still trying to get, pick at you and to get your goat. This could be somebody of a, of a, with one of the zodiacs of a, of a horned type of sign. You have to trust that this is all coming to an end. There's full closure. And I just heard you're not a liar. You were, you were, you, what your story is real, what you feel in your head, what you, what you feel, what you feel in your heart and what you know in your head is true. And don't stray, don't stray from that because there's a full sense of completion, a full circle moment coming around for all Sagittarius. Sorry, you hear my dogs for, for the Sagittarius energy. I feel as if there's like, um, you feel like you've been sluggish and this is still in retrograde. So it's like you've been sluggish. You've been just like not being able to find the energy, not being able to find strength, not being able to find your get up and go. It's because you've had to sit in this. You have to really recognize this. And see, there comes this, there comes the celebration. So I have the emperor and I have the empress. And I feel like there's a partnership here. I feel like there's a perfect kind of mate for you coming in. That's how I'm getting it. 
and this is this is the channel message that I have and so it's shown me it's like so it's like you have I just have the sense of uh, strength and courage combining heart and brain coming together it's like just totally you're really thinking about what you want you're really not, you're not letting you're letting your heart guide you but thinking practical of um, I know what I'm searching for. I know what it is I need. And life feels like it's stabilizing, stabilizing out. And that right person's like, you, you know what you want. You know where your life should be going. And this could be any relationship, any partnership within your life. It's what it feels like for me. And so, and then the, and so the other card that comes out for me of four of Gabriel, and this is the abundance. Everything is abundance celebration it, it it does feel like a beautiful union union or reunion taking place this could be someone from your past but it's like that situation reach reach out ask for the help because that situation is coming to an end it, it's tied to an old old relationship an old situation and then the cords are being cut the time's being cut this is you having to acknowledge that you've already been through this you're walking through the door you're you know it's like you're you're slowly coming out. You've been slowly coming out and here's you all the way out. By summer, by July, by August, by June, July, August, and that time, I want, I want to say July is what hits me, July, and that you're going to see a big change. You're really coming out of your shadow self, your dark self, and this new partnership is like rising up. And when we meet that perfect mate, I just feel like it's, or when you get that perfect job or that perfect relationship, everything just feels like it aligns. And I feel this could possibly be somebody from your past. It's like, somebody that you met or someone that you knew and you know you were too young or in not in a good place prior and now you're coming together and it works and you've healed you've done the work and here's um the freedom you are being set free from whatever that is holding you back or whatever that's been restricting your heart i feel as if you're being set free from this um courage see i just got courage and brave like courageous and, and being brave is what i'm getting and it comes together um, so there's a lot of changes happening for you, Sagittarius. March is a month of, of transformation change for you. In some places, changing of seasons, not in Alberta. <laughs> We're still winter. But it's like, it's when we see that shift. So I feel like you're seeing that shift happen by March the 22nd, 23rd. You're really feeling it. Mar uh, March the 9th, 10th is the full moon. It's like you're done. Like It's like everything just starts to break away at that time. And you're and the freedom you can start to feel the freedom in your heart that you've been freed of this shit whatever this shit is and you're going to know the decisions to make i'm just asking for validation of the cards and um healing you've you've had a lot of healing work happening you've had a lot of things this is ten of raphael and it's love and blessings fill your life love and blessings fill your life i just feel like your life is really going to go in the direction that you're seeking searching happiness wholeness uh, there's some shifts and changes has to happen, but there's also some justice. There's balance. Uh, happy ever after. This is like your happy ever after story. This is for some of you. This is your year to fully step into your uh, happy ever after time. Let your, and I feel like as you move into the Aries energy, like once you move past the emotional, the Aries energy of, of, after March the 22nd, 23rd, it was like you truly start to feel that flame again. You have a very, you have a big tie to the Aries energy and something keeps tying you to the Aries energy. And it's like, there's just some sort of pull there, some sort of works well, gels well together. And um, it's all just taking place perfectly. So enjoy, enjoy March. Um, stay strong right now. Sit in this lower period, like this slower period, sit in it. Just say, I'm not going to take the past with me. Um, and just be present. Just be present in your own life. Um, and I just heard you're always loved. Remember, you are always loved and you are never alone. I have two people. I have a man and I have a grandmother. A man. I have a, he's a dad. He's a father and I have a grandmother or grandfather. Could be grandfather. That was kind of like a father to you, but I feel like it's father. And um, very present with you, to, with 
whoever this is, whoever you are, and very much for the Sagittarius energy. So you have some love, like just coming in and some big hugs. I feel like you just need to feel safe and they're just giving you that sense of feeling safe so that your life can go. And you have some travel coming in, by the way, some travel coming in for Sagittarius. If you're going on some trip or you're changing jobs that are that's in travel base that you've got to move for a job or something, but there's definitely something coming up that's a travel trip. Much love. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with me. And I will see you all in April. Bye-bye.